Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to be creating a function in Python. And in order to create this function, uh, we're going to start off with a comment here saying that this program will create a function. And so if you watched any of my previous videos, I created a, a net pay gross pay calculator. And we're just going to use the, the same code, but we're going to put it into a uh, function. And to define our function, we're going to start off with DEF that uh, defines our function. And we're going to say compute. And let's do net pay, gross pay. We'll do net pay. Net pay. Compute net pay. And then we're going to get our parentheses here and we're going to get our colon. Now our next line will be our first variable. We're going to say x and we're going to say input parentheses quotation marks and we're going to say please input your hours to calculate your net Okay. Let's get another colon here. We're going to space that out and we're going to copy this and just change it around a little bit just to make it easier for us. We're going to enter control V and we're just going to change the variable to a Y. And we're going to say please input your, and I need to correct the spelling there, rate. Let's put a U here. And why it's going to be, please input your rate to calculate your net pay. Next, uh, we're going to add a tax rate here. We're going to say our tax rate equals int x, which is our hours, times int y which is our rate and we're going to go outside of the parentheses and we're going to say times and this time we'll make our tax rate uh, let's say 0 0.08 or let's do 0 0.05 we're going to enter and we're going to say print parentheses your gross pay is space that or not actually space we're just going to put a comma here and then the same thing uh, we have here basically we're going to say int x times int y minus tax rate comma and we're just going to add dollars here and then we're going to call our compute pay compute net pay we're just going to hit enter and open close parentheses and when we run this program it's just going to uh, ask for our input first our hours then our rate and then it's just going to calculate this function here so we're going to run this code uh, please input your hours to calculate your net pay let's say our hours are 35 and your rate is 15 your gross pay is four hundred ninety eight dollars and seventy five cents and this is just a simple function and uh, you have to watch how you indent these because it changes the formula here so if we run this code as it is now we will get a syntax error so let's run this so we have an unexpected unexpected indent 
So I uh, just know when you're creating your code that this has to line up or else you'll get this error here. And we can run this code again. And it works. Say we worked 15 hours and we made $25 an hour. So this would be our gross pay. In order uh, to calculate uh, our uh, gross pay, we're just going to, we can just subtract our, our uh, tax rate here. Or it can just comment it out, whichever works for you. Uh, and then we can run it here. So control S, save it, enter. Make sure this is all correct. Okay. We're going to run this. And uh, we can change the verbiage as well. So we can say gross pay. We're going to control S, save that. We're just going to click through this. All right, so your gross pay, uh, let's put, we work 25 hours. We get paid $10 an hour, $250. So uh, this is just a simple program to help you guys understand how to create a function. And uh, we can go ahead and try to create a different function just so you can see a different uh, something different. So we're going to change our function name. We're going to say uh, tails name. And we're just going to change our input. We're going to uh, keep the same uh, variable x here. And we're just going to say What is your name? Exclamation mark. And we're going to take out our, our Y variable and take out this tax right here and just print uh, something that goes with our name. So we're going to say, thank you. I like the name and get a space here and we're going to put x and we're going to uh, change this so we can call our our function and our function name is tails name enter so we're going to control s save that just to guys just to show you guys something different uh, we're going to run this program uh, what is your name uh, let's say our name is Jack. Thank you. I like the name Jack. Just a simple program uh, for functions. So you can do a lot of different things. Uh, functions help uh, if you have long, extensive uh, amounts of code. If you're using the same kind of code over and over again, you can kind of create functions to help uh, mitigate too much code. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more.